हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस एन एक्सपेरिमेंट बेस्ड ऑन फोटोइलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट द एम ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू डिटरमिन प्लैंक्स कॉन्स्टेंट एंड वर्क फंक्शन यूजिंग फोटोइलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट एंड टू वेरीफाई इनवर्स स्क्वायर लॉ ऑफ रेडिएशन सो लेट्स हैव अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन फोटोइलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट इज द फिनोमिना ऑफ इजेक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फ्रॉम अ मेटल सर्फेस when light of appropriate frequency falls on it it was uh, first discovered by uh, henrik rudolf hertz then relation between light and electron was clarified by uh, philip lenard further research showed that uh, photoelectric effect represents an interaction between light and matter that cannot be explained by classical physics which believed that light is an electromagnetic wave the uh, major major uh, pu puzzling observations were that kinetic energy of rele released electrons does not vary with intensity and secondly there was virtually no time lag between arrival of radiation and emission of electrons this led einstein to formulate in 1905 a new corpuscular theory of light which believed that light is made up of small packets of energy known as quanta or photon energy of the photon depends on frequency not on intensity by a relation e is equal to h nu um, einstein was honored by nobel prize for this discovery in 1921 einstein summarized his observations in form of an equation so uh, which says that h nu is equal to half mv square plus e phi where h is the planck's constant and nu is the frequency of the photon and half mv square is the uh, kinetic energy of the photo electron which is emitted out whereas e phi is the work function of the material from which the photo emission is taking place and this is the energy required minimum energy required to eject out an electron from the metal surface and half mv square is the kinetic energy so if a photon of energy h nu falls on a surface energy of the photon h nu is used up in uh, two ways uh, that is to eject it out from the metal surface which is e phi part of it and then to impart a kinetic energy uh, to the elect uh, electrons emitted which is equal to half mv square then uh, we can also write half mv square is equal to h nu minus e phi so uh, here uh, we can say that if we apply a negative potential at the anode so that will uh, apply a repulsive force on the electrons which are coming towards it that is the photo electrons so if we can go on increasing that um, negative potential uh, at that plate so it the even the uh, electrons which are moving with highest kinetic energy will not be able to reach that so that particular potential is known as the stopping potential and that is equal to half mv square better half mvx square v max square that is the maximum kinetic energy is equal to evs and that time the current uh, will be equal to uh, zero so uh, here i can write substitute for i have half mv square that gives me evs is equal to h nu minus e phi or it can be rewritten as vs is equal to that is stopping potential is equal to h upon e nu minus phi so from this is a straight line equation so if we draw a graph uh, vs versus frequency that is stopping potential versus frequency so as it is suggested by this equation it should be a straight line and uh, that is straight line uh, will intersect the x axis at a point which is known as a threshold frequency and if extended it will uh, ha have an intercept on y axis in negative direction which will be the work function as suggested by this equation so we can find out the work function from there whereas the slope of the equation uh, will be equal to h upon e so the planck constant h can be calculated as slope into e so this is our experimental setup so we'll know about the setup and then we'll see that how to perform the 
first part of the experiment so this is our photo uh, sensitive device a vacuum photo tube is kept inside it which uh, contains a photo sensitive material and this is uh, um, option given for applying the filter so whatever filter we apply here only that frequency is allowed to fall on that photo sensitive material this is a display unit we can display current as well as voltage on this unit so if the knob is on the right hand side it displays voltage whereas if the knob is on the left hand side it displays the current then uh, we have this current multiplier so uh, we can put it at according to our need 0.001 or 0.01 or 0.1 and so on uh, <coughs> then we have uh, this intensity controller switch so it can uh, switch off or increase the intensity of our light source the light source uh, is a, a halogen tungsten lamp which emits all the frequencies then we have a voltage adjusting knob so we can change the value of voltage uh, with the help of this knob we can increase or decrease it by moving it in um, and clockwise or clockwise direction uh, then we have this commutator and then this uh, switch which if it is on the right hand side it is negative and if it is on this is positive we have this indicating lamp and this this on on off switch this is the uh, light source this is our light source so it emits out light of all radiation all frequencies when we put filter so the only that frequencies allowed to fall on it now we'll see that how to perform the first part of it that is to find out h and phi plank constant and work function for that what we do is one more thing uh, we have a set of filters here we have five filters here uh, red orange green yellow and blue uh, so uh, we can put them one by one so uh, to find out the uh, stopping potential what we do is we put a filter here and then we switch on the current uh, light source The voltage knob is kept at negative because we have to measure the stopping potential then we will put this uh, display into the current so what we have to do is we have to increase the voltage which is in negative direction such that the current becomes zero so we can change we will change the voltage by the voltage knob it is already negative and then look for the current wherever we will find that it is zero we will this is zero now so now we will uh, flick this button to uh, voltage and then see this is the voltage so it is minus 0 0.27 volt so this is the voltage for this particular stopping voltage for this particular filter now what we can do is we can uh, remove this filter and put another filter here and then again we will uh, this is already in neg negative we will change the voltage so that current becomes zero again So it is near zero now. It, it it is zero now. Then again we can uh, flick it to the voltage uh, display unit and then see how much is the voltage. So this much is the voltage for this particular um, uh, filter and so on. So we can uh, change uh, repeat the process for all other three filters also and then note down the stopping potential corresponding to all the frequencies we can repeat this by changing uh, one more position say 30 centimeters 
this is the observation table for it so we can uh, write it for all the filters for red so the frequency is written and then for uh, what is the stopping potential for it for so on and then we can change the distance from 40 to 30 and then observe the same thing uh, this is how we uh, take do the calculation so we plot a graph vs versus frequency and then uh, we find out the slope of the graph and then we can find out the uh, Planck constant as I have already discussed. So this uh, h is equal to e delta vs upon delta nu. So that we can calculate with the help of this uh, graph as it can be seen that delta v upon delta nu. So this will give us the slope and then we can find out the value of h. Substituting uh, this uh, uh, we can find out h and the standard value of h is 6.62 tensor minus 34 joule second again from this graph only we will see the uh, intercept on y axis so that will give us the work function so uh, we can find out work function as well as h from this now comes the second part and so uh, for verification of inverse square law if the intensity of illumination is measured in terms of current then uh, ki is equal to l upon r square where l is the luminous intensity and r is the distance of the point from it so uh, from this we can say that the graph between n upon r square versus i should be a straight line which verifies the inverse square law so uh, to verify this in this setup the whole uh, setup remains the same except that this voltage is now given with positive sign and then we keep voltage as constant uh, we uh, um, we uh, can uh, put a filter here and then apply a constant voltage to it for example in this case i apply a voltage of 0 0.50 say So 0.5 volt is applied this will remain constant throughout the experiment then we will switch on the uh, our light source now this knob will be to the current because we will be measuring current with respect to distance so uh, now we will change the position of uh, our light source with respect to our photosensitive plate so we can change it here from here uh, again we change it and then uh, note down the current voltage should remain constant then again change it and then note down the current and so on we can take four or five readings like this then we can change the repeat the same procedure for a different uh, filter so uh, again we can uh, take the value of current at different positions this process procedure can be repeated for all the filters or for at least two filters now let me tell you one thing that when we have to switch off the device uh, we will first uh, put this uh, light source to zero uh, then we'll put this uh, voltage adjusting knob to the minimum or zero and then only we can switch off the device this is the observation table for inverse square law so we take one filter and then take the uh, values of current at various distances that procedure can be repeated for the another filter and then a graph uh, i versus one upon r square is plotted which should be a straight line and uh, the, it verifies the inverse square law let us discuss some precautions so this instrument should be operated in a cool uh, dry and indoor space photo tube should not be exposed to the direct light uh, and this instrument uh, should be kept in a dust proof and moisture proof environment and if there is any dust on the filters uh, it should they should be cleaned with the help of some alcohol or so 
the color filter should be stored in a dry and dust proof environment and once you uh, finish the experiment put all the knobs to minimum and switch off the apparatus that's all about it thank you and have a nice day